My name is Katrina McQuail. I'm the second generation McQuail on the farm, and livestock is our primary business. When my parents got the farm in the early 70s and it had been cash cropped for years, was all corn when they bought it, had been sprayed, and they quickly realized that that was going to continue to degradate and erode the soil. So they moved to a more forage and pasture-based rotation. We've chosen rotational grazing for a number of reasons. One of them is that we wanted to be enriching our soil as much as possible given how damaged it was by being cash cropped before we owned it. Also in terms of the livestock, you have animals that are getting better feed. Over the years, we've done soil testing on the farm and it was a very clay heavy clay loam when my parents bought it and we are much more loamy in the clay loam spectrum of things now. And so that means that our soil density is better in terms of absorption of water and being able to take these more dramatic climatic events. You can start with very little infrastructure investment. You can take an area, a large area that you've already had fenced and you can subdivide it using electric fencing. Any change that you make to reduce the length of time that livestock are on an area, it helps with the regrowth, which then will benefit both the livestock and the land and ultimately the economics of it. There are practices that are working for other farmers and could benefit you.